So I'm gonna go in the trailer so y'all can hear me. Cause I've been here for like two hours. I don't that uh, I don't think that certain born half guy here really likes me since the last time I was here. Long story, I'm not by there. Anyway, I know how to load my trailer that I pull every week. Better than some random guy with a low cart. That was totally like jacked. But anyway, so he didn't talk to me, but the other dude did. He got he got in my paper. And I ain't seen nobody for about an hour. So <laughs> I may be here for a while. I didn't video nothing coming up because I, I legit, I woke up, I had like 12 missed, it was like 12 missed text messages from dads like, hey, get up, blah, 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 blah. You gotta go load. So, I woke up, took a shower, got in the truck and left. And I fixed my twin stick kit I'm back again. It probably won't last. I'm gonna have to redo that. I'm gonna do something different. So, so we're currently in Kentucky, Western Kentucky, waiting. Cause I need to be in North Carolina in the morning. Like I wanna be like I don't as long as I'm there for like eight o'clock it's fine, but I got more than enough time, but I wanna be there before daylight. And then I wanna be like back in Whitford at daylight. So I can get me a nap, something to eat, blah 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 blah. And go to the next one. That's what this week's going to be consist of. Which I enjoy getting, a, you know, a break from like I love to go west or go all the way to Michigan. It's pretty nice. And like, I'm not saying I'm running local, but like four or five hundred mile trips. You know, I'll take a trip for an hour, bounce to the next one, get it. I mean, I, I enjoy that, honestly. It's something to get used to. I'm used to driving like. 14 to 24 hours or longer than then sleeping. This you drive like what you're supposed to <laughs> and then sleep three or four hours ago again. So anyway. I don't know if y'all can see but look at this. Look at that. Oh Tanner Phillips. Parking like he owns the place. Hey may do it, I don't know. Anyway. The new wheels look good. I think Blake put them on. Blake Fitzgerald. Got them there. Whatever. I don't know. But I did closely examine them. They are it. When I pulled in, I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> so I'm going to stay here and continue to uh, wait. I did eat a 10 to 1 sandwich from the barn. That's been the highlight of my day. Farmers out there, we understand that that's your cattle. We understand that, all, you know, the whole deal. But nine times out of ten, we know how to load our own equipment for your cattle's safety and ours and everybody around us. Most of the time, better than what you're going to do. And like a lot of times, if, if a farmer hands me a load card, it's like one or two off somewhere. Like they. They do good. And I'm like, look, I ain't changing your stuff, but can we not put one here and take that one there? And, you know, most most people's cool with it, but like some people's like die hard. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, it's, it's not a big issue. But do you realize when they walk across, when they walk across that right there, well, that right there, they're on my insurance. They're my responsibility to go from point A to point B. So, that means I'm not gonna put two back here that two more back here that I don't need to be in here just to satisfy you because if something happens to one of those two between point A and point B, whose fault is it gonna be? They're gonna say, Oh, he did it or this and that and I'm like, I'm gonna load it my way. It's my trailer. Quick to a point, you know, I'll give a little here and there. Or to it makes sense. But I'm not gonna do something stupid, hurt cattle just to satisfy a farmer or a buyer because like I said when they cross over that into this trailer that is my responsibility my insurance cattle insurance blah 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 blah. They're, if you're a sailor and a sailor we're going sailing 
But if you're a seller and they, once they, you know, they're out of your possession, going to, to the buyer, it, they're nobodies. There's not, they're not really the buyers, they're not really the sellers. They're my responsibility from point A to B or whatever. So, you know, I always look at it. And like I said, I'll do, I'll do 99% of what the farmer wants, just keep them happy. I'll never say a word. Unless, like I said, it's something stupid, like, like say they want to put, like, feeder sets. Say they want to go 5, 10, 10, and then they want to go, like, uh, 10, 10, and then a 12. I'm like, let's put the 1 in the nose, because we're 1 short there anyway. So we'll go, like, we'll go 6, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 11. Makes more sense. We got a spread, we'll put a weight on the spread. Some people don't get that. They're like, well, you got that nose. I'm like, yeah, it's half the size of the tail. If you got a spread of tandem, it's the same. If you put five in the nose, you put you know, put five in the tail. You know, you, you belly cut, top cuts are bigger. You know, and like, I've loaded with some guys that didn't want nothing cut. And I've loaded some guys that wanted everything cut. And then they want to overload some things that need cut, that didn't need cut in the bottom. You could put one extra calf. Because that gate, when you shut that gate, it takes up room for one calf. And they want you already going to be over, and then they want to put two more in our each cut. So like they want to do 10, 10, and then two 11s. Don't cut the bottom; they're fine, you know. But or like you know, you want to do 10, 10, and then you want to do a 10 and 11, and then put one more extra on the tail, so you put your weight on the spread. But that's what it's designed to carry the weight. You don't get it off your truck. But like I said, I don't argue with them; they know it all. I'm not the one that loads like four or five loads a week some weeks and I'm not, you know, maybe none all week, but what do I know? I see the dude with the papers. Oh, different dude. I don't know where that dude is. They got my paper. He's been gone for a while. <laughs> but anyway, I've been rambling for seven minutes. This week's gonna be a lot of I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know what's really going on tomorrow. All I know is I'm gonna go there and get unloaded and wait till that phone call so and they don't really know until what you know to what sailborne has what or what buyer was what so this week i'm in mercy of phone calls which like i said i like it every once in a while it, it, it's an honestly it's a good break up from load and then go 1200 miles 1400 miles so like i said i've rambled for eight minutes Oh look, there's a dude with my paper. Anyway, catch y'all later.
pickup I had last night. We're back at the same place within the same 24 hours to go here and then another cell board and then go back where I unloaded this morning. I'll unload these and then uh, I think go like a, about two hours up the road and then I won't have to go nowhere to Friday morning and then load again. So I had a Friday morning when I load. I think I think me and dad both going to Michigan, but he's loading here at this subborn in Tennessee Friday morning. And I'm loading in Virginia. Yeah. Let me start writing this stuff down. It might help, right? Alright guys. I'm gonna give you some trucking 101 advice. <clears throat> Take it if you want to. I have some that's had issues before. They'll probably tell you the same thing. I will never sit in the driver's seat of a truck that I'm hauling cattle with or anything without these where I can get a hold of. Those or this. Alright? So, why you need that close by is very simple. Alright, when you start it, you can go all wacky. Take your battery cable off. Quick and easy, you know how to look for something. It's right there. When that happens, it's not fun. Now, that's not what happened. I have a, I had a battery bust, and I smelled it when I was walking back, when I just got done putting my shoes on. I was like, hmm. So, I just put it on check, but she's hot. So, we're running on two batteries. The truck's always had three. Had three when I got it. Never put a fourth one in. So, I'm gonna go to Sweetwater, get my other 13 cows, drive like an hour and a half. Dad's gonna meet me at a truck stop. We're gonna put another battery back in. Maybe two. I don't know. I tell you, bring three, three or four. Might put four. <clears throat> so that's, that's how my night's going already. Jersey. 
he's on a mission. Oh, we always, you know, it's always that one slow, slow poke. Just like, where are we going, guys? I got a feeling. Like a cat. I got a feeling they some, uh, they some sketchy stuff goes on here. Hurts you. Calves, not breeder bulls. Calves. 
cows and calves for the most part. If a host thing hurts you, it falls on you.